In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a custom accordion interaction for your all new Adobe Captivate project. I'm Paul Wilson, and I make YouTube videos about Adobe Captivate and other e-learning topics as they come up. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to like and share the videos with all of your e-learning buddies. In this video today, I'm kind of revisiting something I did about six months ago. I discovered a neat way that I could build an accordion interaction that wasn't too difficult to build, but I kind of did it in a very basic way. And I'd like to take this now and revise what I've done make it a little bit more advanced and a little bit more interesting. This accordion interaction will include audio for each of the accordion clicks, as well as forced navigation, so you won't see your next button until you've completed the uh, tasks that are on the slide. And also, um, we're gonna have some images within the accordion blocks as well. Let's get started. By the way, I'd like to mention that all-in-one members of my YouTube channel can download this project file. You can find it in the community tab if you're an all-in-one member. So let's take a look at what I've done here. At the very top is a simple paragraph block where I've turned on the title, the body, and the button components for that particular block. We've set up two buttons, and of course, they are distributed uniformly across the slide there. After that, of course, are uh, another paragraph block where I only have the subtitle and the card, and I've customized the card to be this dark gray. After that is a simple image block, and I've gone to the second page of design options, and I chose this option here. We're showing the image component, the subtitle component, and that's it. One of the things that I find quite useful is if you want something to look a certain way, make sure that your content width is set up the same across the board. It will just give it a very consistent look and feel, which I'm gonna do right now for these individual blocks there. I think that looks a lot better. All right, let's start to build our interaction. The first thing we need to do is we're gonna hide the next button from publish. So clicking on this little icon next to the button label will hide that next button. We also want to hide the image blocks because we don't want them to show until someone's actually clicked on the accordion element. So let's click on those and also hide those during publish there. Okay, now as far as dealing with the next button not showing until you've completed this interaction, that's a very easy interaction to create. Click on the interactions icon next to your properties inspector. Click on add an interaction. And in this case here, we're gonna choose the trigger to be objects clicked on the slide. So we'll choose that and I'll simply select warm welcome, product service awareness, and offer assistance. Press next, so when those three objects have been clicked, we want to show our next button. Scroll down, press next, and then done. And that literally takes care of the forced navigation component of this interaction. Next, let's deal with the individual accordion elements here. I'm gonna start by clicking the first one here. And let me explain a little bit about what's happening on the slide. There's going to be some slide audio. Um, and when you click each of these, we're going to hide the other components, the other images, and then we're going to play some audio and show, of course, the appropriate image block for the accordion element that's there. One of the things I've discovered is that we don't want to hear, we don't want to hear the slide audio at the same time the audio is being played for one of our accordion items. And I've discovered that if you pause the timeline, you will stop the playback of any slide audio. So in fact, I'm gonna start by clicking on warm welcome. We're gonna add an interaction and we're gonna say when we, tr uh, when we click on this, we are going to first of all, pause our timeline. Again, that has the effect of stopping any slide audio from continuing. Click done. And that's the first action 
for our first accordion item here. Let's click add new action. Next, I wanna stop any media or audio, if you will, from continuing to play if I prematurely have selected the next item before letting the audio finish. So we can click on more and we can stop media, press done, and there's our second action. The other thing that we're going to do for all of these is I wanna hide all three of these image blocks regardless of which one we're selecting here. So I'm gonna click add new action. We're gonna choose hide. We're gonna to go to content sections because I wanna hide the entire block, not just the components within it. So if you hover over each of these, you can see which one you want here. Here's the first one, here's the second one, and it looks like this is the third one there. Scroll down a little bit, press next, and then done. Now, one of the cool things in Adobe Captivate 12 is that I can right click on this warm welcome item here and copy the interactions and select the next accordion item, right click and paste those interactions because they're going to be the same regardless of which accordion item you're pressing here. Do the same thing for the last one here. And now we just need to add a couple of small actions to each one to make them unique. So for warm welcome, in addition to everything that we've already done, we're going to show the content section next to that accordion item. Scroll down, press next, and then done. We're also going to play the audio that I've already prepared that matches the text that you see on the screen here. So add new action, more, play media, browse on your system to the point where you've got those audio clips that you've already prepared and press open. Press done at the bottom and we now have the five actions that we need for each of these accordion items. One thing I recommend that you do is select the first action, hold down your shift key and select the last action and then press this merge option here. And that will have the effect of having these individual actions run simultaneously rather than one after the other. When you start getting multiple actions like this, you might notice a delay. So merging them together definitely helps out. Let's take a look at this uh, second accordion item here. We're gonna add a new action. We're going to show the content section here for product service awareness. Scroll down, press next, and then done. And then we're gonna play back the audio clip for that particular accordion item. Play media, browse, accordion two, open, and then done. And like before, I'll select the first of these items, hold down my shift key, select the last of them, and then merge them together. Let's do our third accordion item. Add new action. We're going to show our content block for that. Scroll down a ways here, press next, and then done. And click add new action, more, play media, browse, and choose accordion three, and press open and then press done. Again, we'll merge these together so they happen simultaneously and we're pretty much good to go. The only thing I haven't done is added some slide audio for this slide, which is just going to be the instructions that you see at the top here. I can do that by clicking on the audio icon here and importing the audio for slide audio here. Press open. You'll probably see this warning and this is just letting me know I'm trying to put an 8.1 second audio on a three second slide. So do I wanna make that three second slide also match 8.1 seconds? Press extend time and we're good to go. Let's preview this and see how it works. Press each item to reveal more. Once you have fully explored this page, the next button will appear, allowing you to proceed. Okay, looks good. Um, you could customize your rollover and your selected states for these items here. I'm not a big fan of the underline, but it will do fine for our purposes here today. A friendly greeting sets a positive tone. For example, you might say, 
Hi there. Welcome to XCC Auto, or... And if I interrupt this... Briefly acknowledge their potential interest. For example, you might say, Are you interested in learning more about the new XTC Roadster? Or, What specifically are you looking for today? And lastly, we'll choose Offer Assistance. Notice that our next button will appear once I click the third and final accordion item. Show your willingness to help. For example, you might say, I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Or, let me know if you need any assistance. And of course, at this point now, the interaction is over. Your learners can press the next button and continue with the rest of the project. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.